In order to control Hypertizer from your lighting disc, you will need to add DMX component. To do this, click the Configuration tab in the home page. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Add. Choose DMX2 from the list of components and click Add again. You will see that it's been added to the list. Click the Home button again. Once here, we need to add the DMX component to a view so that we can see it. Click on the empty bank once, right click and give it a name. Clicking on it again will open up the window. You should see a blank empty page. Click the HippoNet draw in the bottom left hand corner and then click the circle of DMX2 and drag it out so that you can see it. By default it will patch all the mixes and layers that are currently patched in Output Manager. This may be one or multiple universes. If you want to change the patch, simply click Auto Patch. This will give you the option to select a protocol, ArtNet, MANet or SSCN. And also a start universe. Would you like to use start on universe 0, universe 1, or universe 2 or any other universe? I'm going to choose universe 0. You then have the option to patch the layers, mixes, viewports or timeline. You can select them by just clicking on them and enabling them. And also select a personality here. Once you've chosen this, click OK. OK again. And then you should see the two layers that we have patched. If you want to check whether or not DMX is coming in and your system is behaving as it should do, click the monitor button. From here, if there is data coming into the system, you will see these numbers turn green. I'm using a simple ArtNet tester, which is why all the numbers are current constantly changing. If you're using a lighting desk, you will see more of the red numbers. When it's set to the default, the numbers will be zero. Now you should have full control from your lighting desk on your hypnotizer.